Good morning and welcome to your weekend unboxing here on Gaming with ADHD. Today we're taking another look at Merchants of the Dark Road from Elf Creek Games. But this time we're going to take a quick look at the uh, Kickstarter add-ons for the game. Now these are just uh, components to upgrade your game. Uh, also I believe the patron's provisions is some extras, some extra tokens, uh, scenarios, characters, things like that. Um, I haven't looked into it in too much detail and also I'm still learning how to play the game. But I just wanted to take a quick look for those who may be trying to pick up one of the all-in pledges at you know after the fact. Uh, I purchased this through a local retailer and uh, and it came as a bundle with everything. So uh, you know I didn't get it through the Kickstarter. But my wife is a huge fan of the games from Elf Creek Games, so we are, you know, obviously pretty interested there. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into this. But before we do, make sure that if you enjoy the video, you give it a like. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel because I do try to put out some regular videos. Uh, I've been doing a lot of unboxings, but I try to do different reviews of all sorts of game-related content. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at this. So, I'm going to start with the coin pouches and the metal coins, because that will go a little bit faster, and then we're going to come back to the patron's provisions. All right, so we've got the merchant coin pouches and you get four of these all right so they are velvet and they are embroidered let's go ahead and zoom in here so the stitching on the embroidery could be a little bit tighter you can see the the blue green of the bag coming through behind it but overall it still looks nice uh it is a velvet bag and it's got the flat bottom so you can i mean obviously it'll work better with something in it but it'll sit upright on the table instead of having to lay down so that's nice and then it's got little these are actually metal uh you know tassels to seal it up so that's nice so we've got the white curved wagon, the red, I'm going to call that the tall wagon. So the bags are all the same color except for the embroidery. Uh, the orange flat roofed wagon, actually if you're a Warhammer player I'm going to call this the towel wagon. And then we've got a yellow curved one so again these are nice they're a little small um but there's only a total of 60 of the metal coins so i don't think we are actually losing out let's toss those over there all right for the metal coins so there are three different versions there's one coins five coins and ten coins you get 30 of the one 18 of the five and 12 of the ten big heavy duty bag all right so these are going to be our ones a little smaller than an inch let's pick this up and focus in so they are textured, they are thick, so eh, about a sixteenth of an inch, or an eighth of an inch actually, uh, about an eighth of an inch. Uh, this looks like a candle. Then we have the bee making another appearance. So I really like the look of those. Let's keep a couple of them out. And we've got our fives so a nice blue and gray again double-sided 
textured. These look really nice. And then the tens. Let's flip this one over. All right, so these are very nice. This I'm gonna I'm gonna call her the Snow Queen or the Ice Queen. Um, again, the texture. These look. These are fantastic. So they are metal and done very well. So there are all of the upgraded coins. Let's center that. Again, ones, fives, and tens. My wife was very excited to know that she was getting all of the upgrades, which is weird because she normally doesn't really care. But for some reason, she did on this one. So uh, as I said in the previous one, uh, we already own Honey Buzz and Atlantis Rising. Atlantis Rising is just the regular version. Uh, Honey Buzz, we did get a Kickstarter edition. I uh, got it from the same store, which was nice. Um, and, um, yeah, so it was nice to be able to support a local retailer, uh, but still get the Kickstarter edition of the game. All right, so real quick, the patrons provisions, six priest heroes, six watchers, words, tiles, three companion cards, the frost squirrel, two travel event cards, eight steed tiles, and one steed card. All right, so... Ah, there we go. All right. So we've got extra bags. If you've watched any of my previous unboxings, you know I love it when a company provides you bags for the stuff they give you. We've got the Frost Squirrel. I'm not going to worry about taking it out of its package at the moment. But... That's a cold looking squirrel. More of the the priest cards. Tokens. Oh, this is nice. All right. So little booklet for the patrons provisions for what each of those do, how to add them into the game. So that's good. Um, interesting to know that it's going to have some slightly interesting or slightly different rules. Let's zoom these out. So these are the steed cards. These are actual cards not or card or cardboard not just you know card stock uh you get eight different ones so that's good and then we've got the rigged wheel and the traveling masquerade so one of the honestly this is this is great um it one thing i like about expansions is when they give you more of just what you've already got as opposed to trying to actually change up the rules um so this just will give you more variety by using the patrons provisions uh interesting little set um uh, i liked all of the add-ons um again Elf Creek has been producing very good quality games since we learned about them. Um, we first found out uh, in March of 2020 at uh, Dice Tower West. That was where we first found Atlantis Rising. 
So we've been very happy with everything they've put out over the last couple of years and very excited to see what's coming up next. So did you get the Kickstarter edition of Merchants of the Dark Road? If you did, let me know what you think. Uh, were you happy with what you received? And I'd love to hear your comment. So please like the video if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for some regular board gaming and tabletop gaming content. I do appreciate you watching and we will talk to you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.